good morning good uh, morning students myself professor neha dave uh, today we'll be starting the chapter that is market research report present uh, preparation and presentation now whatever we have discussed on the uh, on the last session we'll just summarize the concept so then afterwards we'll move ahead with this currently uh, what are the two chapters what we are learning today okay uh, so now first first it is what we are will be learning this this thing and one more it is a background of the researcher what is the thing how they will be doing out that will be learning out before going into this into the last session we have learned with the help of what is market research uh, what are the needs of market research what is market what are the research and even we learn about it what are two different types of research primary sources and secondary sources where the thing is you collect the data us and from this the thing is you analyze the data and finally the thing is what you interpreted it so these are the two different type of sessions and according to this two type of two different type of session we complete our process uh, related with the research then afterwards in the last session we have discussed so much about quantitative qualitative uh, sampling non sampling uh, error sampling and non error sampling also uh, that where you collect the data and with the help of collecting the data there are different different sources where we collect those data and even the thing is what into the last session we have discussed about specialized techniques means there are certain techniques with the help of this type of techniques and uh, the thing is what you can do the research and according to that part of research you can prepare a reports and from this reports the thing is you can analyze the data and finally the thing is what you can prepare final way of research so whenever you want to run with any kind of uh, business or any kind of organization uh, and even you want to start set up with any kind of product also so that is why we do market research so we also got to know into the last session why we do market research also what are the important stuffs of market research why it is more convenient for each and every people to do the research as they want to survive into the competitive market so that is why we perform each and every steps according to this way and with the help of performing a steps related to this part of research finally the thing is we are getting the interpretations of certain data and with the help of the data finally the thing is what we are completing the market plans and according to the plans we are are running out the organization so that is why the thing is what these are the important uh, different different types of sources of market research and even the thing is what uh, certain elements certain techniques we have been learned in the last session even we have learned about uh, last session what are questionnaires how we perform a questionnaires because whenever you do the research certain questions you need to frame it so what type of questions you will be framing how we will frame the question that is also important so that is why we have learned like Like the question should that way. It should be properly. It should be interpreted. The sentence should be clear. The whenever you are writing any of the sentences or whenever you are asking any kind of questionnaires to the other people, so that question should be clear. So according to that type of it, at least what you can get the answer. So you need to frame that type of questionnaires where you can give the proper way of answer. So that is why the thing is what into a business research makes an important organ. That is why we have also learned this thing. It's a systematical process and second we have learned it's a continuous process which is the long lasting forever so whenever the thing is what Uh, you want to start up with any kind of product so that is why to start up any kind of product so research is an important concept and without not completing a research the thing is what you won't be getting appropriate data also and as you won't be getting any kind of data you won't be running your business so now the thing is what today uh, we'll just summarize the concept what we are discussing today and then afterwards the thing is we'll move into the internal concept with the help of next uh, some slides we'll go through with the slides and according to the slides you will be getting out how to perform the reports how to make it the data and all now first chapter we will be learning about the market research report preparation and the presentation this are the different part of it and where currently the thing is means uh, how much whatever you have collected the data through uh, what are research from where did you primary data secondary data or your certain quantitative data from all the types of research finally the thing is what you are preparing a report and once you are preparing a report finally the thing is what you are doing a preparation preparation in the sense you are presenting orally whatever the reports you have been prepared in the front of the panel means in the front of the organizational panel so according to this at least what you need to develop a presentation so into this part of it you will be seeing about it certain techniques means a mathematical techniques where you analyze the data you interpret the data 
you will be seeing internally the concept where the thing is what we do the calculation uh, into this when we prepare a presentation when we prepare a report uh, so on that time the thing is you give uh, not only the certain written words but even the certain diagrams also that are the will discuss about what are bar diagrams what are histogram what are pi diagram and with the help of this type of uh, diagrams and graph uh, you will be getting on how you bifurcate certain populations or as if how you calculated out even there is a certain mathematical terms also into this so i have given certain uh, easy way mathematical terms at least what you can represent properly and with the help of that representation which will makes your uh, research smoothly and even the thing is you can make a presentable way where you can discuss this type of different type of sources in the front of the organization so this is the thing is what you will be learning and even you will be learning certain concept like what is preparation what are types of preparation you do next uh, you will be learn learning about certain content content in the sense uh, when you prepare a report it is not like that you just uh, shuffled all the works here and there it is like you need to put certain systematic a step by step process means for example if i want to write an alphabet i will be starting from a b c d and then after that i'll end with the z so this is called a systematical process it won't be like that first i'll go with b then afterwards i'll go with x again i'll go with the a it won't be like that it will be a systematical process so that is why into this part of it research also you will be learning about it whenever you are calcul when you are whenever you are getting those data so how the thing is the data when you uh, from the content from the book when you whenever you prepare when you analyze those data so when you are presenting also so how the thing is you will place each and every data so then afterwards you will be getting the pre people will be getting the information properly because all the information will be step by step so according to the step by step process each and every informations will be getting clear cut way so that is why we are performing this part of it a research way of project and according to this you will be getting out the proper way how the projects are been prepared and from this project the thing is what it will be good for you into the future also whenever you want to do any kind of research so that is why uh, when related with this subject and when you when you are a marketing students or as you are a management students whenever you want to enter into the market or whenever you want to set up with any kind of business so this research subjects makes very much impact to your uh, to your career also because the thing is what you will be getting so much of different type of techniques to know and with the help of this type of different techniques to know the thing is what uh, certain softwares are also been there you will be discussing this also certain uh, spss software it is been there and according to this part of software whatever your the data you have been calculated so with the help of that type of data you just placed into and finally the thing is you get a calculation so even the thing is how even we will be discussing about word excel powerpoint how it has been used because uh, whenever you are doing a presentation you need to attach those those file related with certain type of it book so according to that type of slides at least what you need to select it so this all the concept will be discussing into this uh, will be even learning about what are types of data for example qualitative and quantitative way of data so how uh, which is more relevant and from where the thing is you get an accurate data from qualitative or a quantitative way so that is the, that is also the main concept you will be learning after once we complete we'll be learning one more chapter that is called a background of the market researcher market researcher means in the sense what are the background of market researcher now here it is not a research here it is what a research researcher means it is what the person who do the research so here the thing is you'll be learning about it what are the steps what are the systematical sources what the researcher do how they go to the people how they collect the data from where they collect the data and how efficiently the thing is what they collect the data and the way how they place the data that also you will be learning about it and what what makes this researcher more convenient to uh, get certain type of information from the market and from this the thing is we make a variety of questionnaires and variety of different substances relating to this which makes more impact for the people to and get understood what is current scenario so that is why that also market researcher concept you will be learning 
and at the end of it once we'll complete with the help of background it's a short chapter so at least what you'll be getting clear cut idea about how the researcher are putting their more efficiency into uh, this part of doing when they do the research now at the end of it you will be learning in india we have an organize in india uh, there are so many organization uh, where they are appointed as a researcher so you will be learning certain organization which they have been since if they want to get those data from the market they have they connected through the agency and from this agency the they send some researcher and with the help of the researcher they collect the data from the market means certain period of time if the market is if the organization is huge and they need a, so much of information related to the other business or what is running into the current market so that is why it is not like that that from the organize on, organization only you can appoint the people here there are certain agency also so from the agency they play they place certain people and from placing certain people finally the thing is what they represent that thing into the market and they collect all those data and then after collecting all those data the organization is paying to their agency one and then finally the thing is what they are preparing a report and then afterwards they are analyzing the research and according to this the thing is organization are running so we have so much of different different types of agency which is been flourished after certain 20 years 20 years before the thing is what this type of sources has been started where the thing is what the market researchers students they are been keeping outside and finally the thing is from this means they are certain agency and from the agency the organization is appointing certain person to do the research and finally to get this data so i hope uh, whatever we have discussed right now uh, the summarization uh, you got a clear cut idea about it what we are going to study right now because what uh, just moving inside into the slides you won't be able to recognize what is the concept so that is why i just given you the background of it like what is the thing what we will be going to study right now okay now we'll just move into the one one slide concept so at least what you will be getting a different way of information now the first state is what the types of data now here it is what what are the types of data what are in my data the first uh, as if types of data it has been there so here i have given certain meaning meaning of data what is the data data means an information and from the information finally the thing is what you get those sources and from this type of sources finally we do the with the help of we frame certain kind of report certain kind of presentation relating to this and into the research if data is not available if the information you are not getting out then the research is incomplete so what is the market research once the thing is what uh, when you get the data, data that is an important concept till the time you don't get any kind of data or else you can say an information the research it is an incomplete so now see in the market research process the fourth step is analyzing the data or information now whenever uh, when i said about it marketing research marketing research it's a systematical and it's a continuous process now your uh, first first when you are doing a research research it is what whenever you are doing you collect you first interpret those data you just estimated you forecasted each and everything the sources are been there but when the thing is the fourth step it is coming out so that is the data without this fourth fourth step that is the data if you don't have finally the thing is your research is incomplete because without in getting information the thing is you won't be getting any kind of it answer and from this type of answer finally the thing is you won't be able to get the proper way of information so that is why analyzing the data or information it's a fourth step of your market research the amount of data that can be collected and assembled in the market research study can be a sort of astronomical uh, astronomical data organization and data reduction are the two very important aspects of data analyzing that is a seldom highlighted highlighted yet these steps are crucial to ability of to make the sense out of the data and to ability to make cogent and insightful data interpretation an impressive array 
type of a method of data organization and data reductions is available so here it is what into the second point of what it has been said the amount of data can be collected and assembled in the market research study can be uh, astronomical means here whatever the data you get and how much you study according to that way so that data is an astronomical means where you collect the data and from which the thing is what your research is in an incomplete so that is why from this the thing is what you are putting certain kind of efficiency to collect the information data organization data reduction is a very two uh, important aspects of data analyzing uh, analyzing that is a sheldon highlights now when data organization and second data reduction means to organize certain data and second part the thing is what reduction means cutting out certain data which because which is not uh, which you uh, which is not relevant for your research part now these two are the main sheldon means with the help of this the thing is you put a highlight relating to this two type of concept because which makes your research properly here the steps are crucial to availability to make a sense out of data and to availability is to make conjunct and insightful data interpretation now here the thing is here the steps are crucial now when you get certain data when you interpret those data when you collect the data here the thing is what does it's a crucial step means it's an important and second part the thing is it's very difficult we have complex way task where you are getting a data the able the uh, to the ability to make a sense out of data and to ability is to make conjunct and insightful data interpretation to get the data and finally to interpret that kind of data is becomes a crucial part an impressive array of method for data organization data reductions are available now nowadays to get certain information to the organization and even to uh, reduce certain kind of concept which is not relevant so this is an important concept when related with the data so data is the fourth step where the thing is what you get all those information and from the information finally the thing is your research part starts because if this is not there finally the thing is you won't be doing a proper way of research so that is why the thing is this is an important concept where the thing is you will be getting in data and which is for the important sources now we'll go ahead that is called the next part of it now presentation of a market research data now here it is what how you represent uh, the market research whatever the data you have been collected so finally the thing is what from market whatever the data you have been collected so how you will present the first it is what the first thing Uh, to do is to understand your audience that is important first it is what into the first point what it is being said you need to understand the audience because what uh, how the un or because what all audience are not same because same all human beings are not same their views perceptions thoughts ideas are different so that is why when you see the audience so before this you need to recognize what is the audience and how the thing is the audience are been performing each and every task relating to this and what they will be do what how the thing is they'll be able to understand so first it is what you need to understand the audience are you sharing the result with your boss your partners or your marketing team you need to even see about it that whatever the data you have been collected so from for uh, this where you to whom you are sharing the results uh, your boss your partners your marketing team because according to this you need to interpret the data if the data interpretation it is not like that you just uh, discuss the same concept to all the people here it is what to whom your audience now here the audience it is what you have a partner you have a boss you have a marketer you have a marketer or second part you have your marketing team so these are the three different part of concept and with the help of this three you need to understand the people and according to this you need to come and represent the interpretation determine what you would what you want them to take away and to be sure to make the most relevant point a priority in your report or a presentation means whenever you are representing a point so which uh, uh, when you are presenting certain kind of point so where the thing is you are giving the certain priorities what is an important concept which is an important concept and from how the thing is what and that priority point only you are doing a proper way of research because if you give the priority to the certain concept then only the thing is you will, you will be getting a proper way of interpretation related to information the format of your pre pre presentations will be an important too now 
here the thing is what when you are presenting any kind of data so here the thing is you need to prepare up for some format because according to the format only the thing is what you need to give certain kind of information you can share certain type of information which is relevant for the present forum market research so you got to know presentation of marketing research data whatever the data you got so finally you need to understand about it to what the audience who will be are the thing is who are the audience of yours so does it is your boss your par partners or certain kind of marketers partner to whom the thing is what you are sharing the data and from the thing is the sharing the data uh, how you will prepare a report also and how you will frame certain kind of data uh, which will be relevant for the people to understand about it what are the sources and what are the important kind of aspect which will be more relevant for them at least to get the information correctly we'll move on head with the next point now the next it is what uh, the next point it is what whenever you are producing presenting a data produce honest and sober that is important you need, whenever you are interpreting or giving information relating to any kind of data it should be very honest and sober means a systematical way when you need to represent next care should be taken only the relevant uh, only the relevant data whenever the thing is what what are the important concept whenever you want to discuss so like you need to take a very care relating to this whether this data if it has been gone from this type of presentation the finally the thing is your presentation is incomplete so you need to take prepare a care for this simple approaches on analyzing covering the more fundamental aspects that is important just don't just simply uh, give them more approaches to what are the major major points and according to the major points only give that kind of appropriated which will be more relevant for them to give the more and more information and which will be easy for the people at least to understand easily give fair weight to all the evidence that is important whatever the data you collect collect so finally the thing is you give the all data whenever you are represent any kind of data given evidence because with the help of an evidence it gives the weightage and from this type of weightage the thing is what your data uh, your information will be proper and sober emphasizing on feedback that is important as the thing is what you frame certain kind of questionnaire so what kind of answer you got so what type of feedback you got so that part also you need to come and you need to share and second part you need to see about that thing whatever the data you have been represent to the front of the any kind of audience so on that time what are the feedbacks it has been given so you need to have more focus on the emphasizing because as the thing is you get a feedback finally the thing is what you will be uh, motivated more and more and finally the thing is you all you will be getting a proper way of information and from this information which will be relevant for it to do the research uh, to collect more more and more data and finally the thing is you get information which is true and fair way so that is why you can get that those kind of information so here it is what producing honest and sober that is important you whenever you are representing the data so it should be uh, honest and sober next care should be taken on the relevant of the data that is important you need to be a proper way of care simple approaches in analyzing and covering more fundamental aspect that is important simple approaches you need to given relating to particular data give fair weightage to all the evidence as if i already said you need to give a proper way of weightage relating to the whatever evidence because whatever the information you calculated you whenever whatever information you calculated you got it certain data so that data should be there with the help of an evidence so which makes more weightage to whatever the information you have given and last it is what you need to give a emphasizing on more and feedback because without feedback the thing is you won't be getting an appropriate information so nowadays the thing is what with the help of the feedback then only the presentation the communication the message whatever you have been passed it will be in the true and fair way we'll go on the next slide that is what now i have some of the more information how you present the data uh, while doing the uh, screening of a data before presentation distinguish between opinion and fact that is important like whenever you you are get giving any kind of information during a presentation one uh, when you are sharing certain information in the front of the audience so here you need to differentiate the two things the opinion and the fact because that will be cleared your data properly 
continue and completeness of the data is must as if i already said whenever the information you are passing out it should be complete and second part it is what a continuity here you need to give a continuity where it should be not whenever you are the research it is being there whenever you are getting any kind of data so you should have a proof if they if the other person is asking what is this related so again you need to have an evidence so it's a continuous way of process and second the data whenever the other person whenever he is asking to you so finally the thing is your data should be complete is that is important because that makes an important relating to get information it should be seen that the data is to be presented and reliable and there is a secondary or primary sources to which it can be contributed now here it is what whatever the data is you have been give, give, got or you have been presented so it should be some related from primary or a secondary sources which will be making your contributions to develop the research into the vast process so that is why these are also the different types of terms of a market researcher when you are presenting that kind of project or when you are presenting that kind of project relating in the front of the audience now i have two types of data as if i already said now when i'm telling types of data you uh, now uh, what we have discussed first we have discussed about what are the data we got to know what is the inform what you mean by the data and from what you what is the data and from data is called an information and then afterwards how you present that whatever the information whatever the research you have done so when you are doing a presentation so what how you are doing a presentation second whatever the information you are getting also how you are present in the front of the audience that is the thing you have learned now what what will be the two information or what will be the two data uh, whenever uh, you are representing in the front of the audience it will be a two types qualitative and quantitative okay we'll see into the certain definitions i have given certain examples also so with this at least what you will be getting what are qualitative data and what are quantitative data the data whatever you are calculating it will be of two types qualitative one and quantitative one quality it is what whatever the data you are getting it should be have certain kind of quality when you are representing the front of it a people and then afterwards the second part quantitative it is quantitative it is what whatever the data from qualitative you got so that data should be there into the quantitative means it should be having the uh, internally way of depth of information which will in give your give you a proper way of information relating to this now see uh, qualit qualitative qualitative data variable is the one uh, even data is also called a variable where you can get information the qualitative data is the one which which the true or a natural occurrence level or a categorized uh, taken by the variable are not described as a number but rather than verbal grouping so here it is what whenever it is been showing you when i am telling about it the qualitative data it will be a certain kind of verbal way of grouping where you will be getting a proper way of information which will be relevant for you it will be true on a natural fact what you are getting out so which which makes your information your each and every data will be properly synchronized properly now you are see the level or a category now here it is given level and category what type of level and category it is means if i say a hair color so hair colors you have that kind of qualitative that is called a black brown and bla uh, blonde okay so here it is what different types of colors really i have a hair color and from this level only the thing is different type of research i am doing that is called a qualitative one but when i am telling about quantitative now here you see on the other hand those which the natural levels take on certain qualitative quantitative that is called a quantity relating with your price uh, traveling time that is and quantity variable are measurable on some numbers unit that is pure minutes inch and etc now here it is what when related with a certain kind of verbal verbal way of performance and here it is what it's a numerical way where the thing is what you are calcul calculating the quantity and according to the quantitative one the thing is what you are getting out the data so here whenever you are doing any kind of information so whenever you want to get any kind of data related you have qualitative and quantitative way where you can get those data which will be more relevant for you to run with your business also and even the thing is what with the help of the data you can represent the front of the audience so these are the two different types of data which is be more relevant for it to the develop the business
ओके नाउ यूर इट इज वॉट आर रिपोर्ट नाउ वॉट एवर यू हैव बीन लर्न राइट नाउ रिलेटेड टू वॉट इज मार्केट रिसर्च वॉट आर द मार्केट वे हाउ द रिसर्च इट इज बीन डन हाउ इट इज बीन प्रेजेंटेड वी हैव लर्न अबाउट टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा हाउ द डेटाज आर बीन देर एंड हाउ द थिंग इज यूल इंटरप्रेट दैट काइंड ऑफ डेटा सो नाउ देर इज अन मोर कंसेप्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड अ रिपोर्ट वंस यू प्रिपेयर द डेटा वन यू इंटरप्रेट द डेटा यू गेट ऑल दोज इन्फॉर्मेशन फाइनली द थिंग इज वॉट यू गॉट टू नो द बायोफिकेशन अबाउट दी ओपिनियन एंड सर्टन फैक्ट एंड finally you differentiated that thing finally the next part it is what uh, you need to form a report so how will perform a report means here it is what you got the data through different type of sources uh, you finally analyze you interpret the data finally the thing is now you need to prepare a, uh, the market research report now first it is what what are market research reports uh, a factual message the tra- that transmit the research result vital is recommendation conclusions and other important informations to the client who is turned by based by uh, based his or her decision making on the content of the report now here it is what you are performing a report report in the sense it is what once how into the examination first the thing is what all the if i want to see if i have a some 50 children so that 50 children i want to see their performance so what we do usually the thing is what into certain 3 uh, months or 4 months we have a test and according to the test the thing is what we are we are getting out the report and but and afterwards what we are performing we once we get a report so we are getting out which is the weaker child which is the highest scorer child and which is the lower one where the thing is what he is not writing anything so this is what you getting in form and finally the thing is what when we get get those information finally the thing is what we conduct the parents meeting and in the front of the parents meet finally we will represent the report and according to that part of report the thing is what the students if you want to give suggestion relating to that particular students related if his performance is not good if he is not studying and all so your the thing is the teacher used to give certain kind of uh, reports relating to this so this is what while doing a research research in the sense he got the information through the paper and from this that paper whatever you have been written it was right it was wrong he was framing certain kind of sentences he was not framing certain kind of sentences certain sentences are incomplete the way he represents so this all the things that english the teacher used to give in the front of the people and uh, front of the parents and from the parents the thing is what the parents get all the information so here it is what whenever you do the market research uh, whatever the da- data you collected whether it's a qualitative whether it's a quantitative or you get certain kind of prime Primary or secondary sources, from which you collect those data, and from the data, finally the thing is what now the thing is you need to pre- perform a report. So how will perform a report? Into this report, uh, your suggestion will be there, certain recommendation will be there, uh, certain conclusion will be there relating to this whatever the information you have been collect collected. So that part of information related, if you want to give certain kind of view, if you want to uh, give certain kind of ideas relating to this, so that all the things will be come into the market report, market research report. So that is why at the end of it, once the thing is what whatever the information, whatever the Data you calculated, whatever the research you do it. Finally, the thing is what we present the data in the front of the audience, and finally at the end of it we prepare a report. And from this report, the thing is what we get all sort of information relating to this. That this is the conclusion after doing least stop so much of getting out the information or least from research. Finally, the thing is I can conclude with the help of this, or else I can re- uh, do certain kind of give certain kind of suggestion relating to whatever the research I've been prepared. so that makes my research market research completely and correct way where the thing is what now other thing is what with the help of this i can place in the front of the audience which makes my business more and more clear and even my research more and more clear so that is why the thing is what we perform the market research report we'll go ahead with the next point now the importance of marketing a uh, marketing research report now what are the things whenever you are doing marketing research so whenever you are preparing the market research report so what are the things what are the important concept you need to uh, just have a put an eyes relating to this because if you put a put an app uh, you if you put a eyes relating to importance why we prepare this kind of it what are the needs of it so into this type of points your doubts will be getting clear cut 
the client base he is a her decision making making a decision making of the content of the report now here the thing is what the client according to this now the client it is what the uh, to whom you are serving this type of reports so according to that type of research so what are the how you prepare a report and second part how he and she needs and what and according to this what are the decision making process which you can give it afterwards as you get all sort of information so that is why uh, that this is an important concept that uh, that, is, that this is an important sources where the thing is market researching uh, report you prepare where the thing is you can make a decision making process because as you get all this report as you get all sort of information properly and finally the thing is you analyze it you put your brains into it you have a certain kind of new views relating to this finally you prepare a presentation you prepare a report so that this makes a decision making you not need to do this you do that this way because from this the thing is you will be getting more and more uh, related with attraction to the business so this is one type of it the market research report is the produce is the product that represents the efforts of marketing research team and it may may be the only part of the project that the client will see now here it is what nowadays uh, the thing is to run their business if you show certain kind of innovative ideas certain kind of new type of techniques to your business to your product then only the thing is what you can run your you can run with your organization so that is why we do this type of research so with the help of the research first it is what you will be getting a decision making process related you can give the information second part the thing is from this type of only research the thing is what the marketers are putting more efforts to develop their product also because once you get information you are getting out how the uh, people needs because previously only i've been said whenever you are running with any kind of business and whenever you are uh, want to start up with any kind of product the product it is not for the organization here it is what the product is for consumer if consumer is happy if the consumer wants and needs are been fulfilled then the thing is your product will run if your product will run finally the organization will be run if the organization will be running properly the finally the thing is what you will be getting a profit so that is why the thing is what you are need you are the thing is what the effort of marketing one marketing team will be getting more and more influence relating to this part of research which they can give it give it certain kind of new ideas new techniques relating to that part of product the time and the effort expended in the research process are are wasted if the report doesn't communicate effectively that is important why if the thing is you are uh, if you think or thought about if you are you are that is why uh, mark, doing marketing research it takes more than some one year two year three year it's depend upon how you are putting an initiative relating to this how you are running for the certain data how you want to collect those data relating to this this makes more effectivity because you are whenever you are doing a research your time your cost your each and everything is been wasted so that wasting if you are saying wasted how you can say it has been wasted if you are not getting an proper information but if you get a proper information it won't be getting a wasted so here the thing is what if Uh, whenever you are preparing any kind of reports and into your reports if you are not getting an accurate data and which is that information what you get it is an ineffective or ineffic inefficient relating to whatever the uh, related information if whatever you want so then the thing is your time and money will be getting wasted so which your market reports will be it won't prepare uh, your market research report will be not be effectively into the front of the audience because the thing is into this the data is still incomplete if the till the time your data if you are not getting properly finally the thing is what your information is incomplete so then the thing is what your each and everything it has been wasted so that is why uh, we do with the help of this type of market we prepare that kind of market research report where you get all the informations uh, properly and finally the thing is your time and cost will be not wasting also so this is the different type of it where the thing is what you do the research related i have go to the help of next point now here we have a content of market research project now whenever uh, first we have learned about how to prepare a report also we you do the presentation 
I have uh, when you prepare a project. Now the thing is what into the starting only we have learned into the uh, first only with the help of introductions you will be learning with the presentation project and finally the thing is what you will be learning about the report also. So we have learned about the presentation, we have learned about the reports and finally the thing is what now you will be seeing about the projects. Now how the projects have been prepared because without preparing a project the thing is what you need to prepare a book. And with the help of this type of book only the finally the thing is your detail all it has been sorted because here it is what you just uh, type those data through the computer you use the information you use word excel powerpoint through this but even the thing is what you need to keep a certain printout also so when you're preparing certain kind of your whenever you're preparing any kind of reports also uh, reports and finally you're making a project book relating to this so what are the contents will be there because without this content as if i already said now if you want to make anything any reports relating so it's a systematical process it is like you need to go a b c d then afterwards you need to end with the help of Z. But here the thing is what if you are shuffling here and here your, your content will be uh, it will be shuffled. So that is why we go with the help of this type of concept that is called a, a content of market research project. What are the contents? First it is what covering letter that is important. Before starting off with the help of uh, preparing a project book, you need to first you need to write the covering letter. The covering letter will be given a certain summarization, certain way of recommendation relating to this, which makes your covering letter, which makes your project book more properly. Next, a title page that is important. Why the thing is you took that type of title? And finally, the thing is what are your informations you are giving out? I have table of content means you can say index you need to prepare prepare an index also and from this index finally the thing is you need to give the numbering relating to a certain part of it where the thing is what you need to write it down first with the help of numbers you have a certain topic name and finally the page number which makes your uh, project project book properly. Abstract, abstract in the sense you need to give certain introduction relating to this from where did you got an information relating to this and why it has been there, who is it has been there, uh, where, from where the thing is that kind of recommendation has been given. Then methodological, methodological in the sense what are types of different methods you have done certain experiments, certain uh, certain surveys, certain reports, certain analyzation, uh, certain interpretation, any kind of data, certain way of computers, what you have been used about it to collect the information so that you do. Next you do the limit, you give certain limitations means uh, certain disadvantages also, uh, what are the problems you face during when you do the research also that also you need to write it down because this all content which makes your result easy and proper then you have body of report body of report in the sense finally the thing is what you would have done so much of research do so much of study relating to uh, any kind of research survey or uh, you have been kept certain panel group of the people so finally the thing is you need to write it a body of the report once you have completed this thing you need to do with the help of a conclusion because with the help of a conclusion means whatever the information okay means here whatever the information you have been collected from here whatever the information you have been collected finally the thing is you need to end with the help of a conclusion because with the help of the conclusion finally the thing is what your information uh, whatever you have been it should be conclusion should be short it should be not big uh, it should be short because uh, the thing is what you need to write into the certain lines only and with the help of certain lines you need to frame certain sentences then appendix uh, you need to give certain kind of questionnaires also you can give it if you uh, if you need more information relating to the other people so finally you can give more questionnaire uh, glossary of a term certain kind of information if you want to share uh, means you need to just highlight you want to do the highlight relating to that particular uh, related with report that you can do it list of the contact or a reference you can even just write it down at the end of it you need to give a certain reference from where did you got the information uh, from it's a primary sources a secondary sources and finally the thing is where you went about that uh, so that kind of information last but it is bibliography if you took any kind of reference related to books magazines any pamphlets any kind of uh, magazines related newspapers cuttings uh, so that kind of information you can write it this is called a bibliography and next if you uh, I have uh, I have not added here I need to even just give it one that that is bibliography also that is called a web bibliography bibliography in the sense it is what from if you've collected those data from websites 
so that type of information also uh, you can write from which website do you collect it from as you prepare all the reports so from where did you got all the information now with the help of this your project book will be a proper your reports will be there proper and finally the thing is according to this your projects will be also been in the front of it because into this the whenever the audience sees whatever the informations if you uh, if the audience want to know about it how do you start it how do you set up so finally the thing is what into this book into this project finally he'll be getting all sort of information where he can come and can represent the front of the people so here it is what whenever you're doing a presentation you need to give all sort of points and into this uh, when i am telling about it a methodological way where we have discussed about it that is called a research methodological way so into this type of methodological finally the thing is what even you need to discuss about certain bar diagrams pie diagrams uh, histograms uh, certain kind of fit way of uh, paper, uh, cuttings you can you can give it certain kind of logos you can represent it which makes your research truly and clearly where the thing is you can represent the front of the people and which makes your research market research proper and effective way where the people can have the connection relating to that part of particular research related now here i have been seen return of an report now you are organizing the return report now if you want to uh, prepare certain kind of return report because whatever you have been just first year been it was a presentation now here the thing is if you want to prepare a certain report so now how you prepare a report market research reports are tailored to specific audience and their purpose and you must consider both in the phase all the research process including planning and reporting now here it is what the two things you need to see first it is what market it is are been tailored to the specific audience and a purpose and with the help of this both the phases of research process including planning and reporting now this is the two kinds of specific audience and second part it is what a report which is because this two makes an important concept relating to the particularly to move into why we are perform why we are writing the report so here it is what uh, once first we have been presented now here i want to write it out the report so how you'll write a report first it is what you need to see about uh, the audience and how the audience needs to get those information relating to it. so give that part of information next uh, must consider questions such as now your the thing is you need to when you are writing a report so first you are organizing organizing in the things you are thinking into the mind how you will prepare first step by step so here it is what must consider the questions such as certain questions you need to have must consider relating to whenever you are writing a research report what is your purpose that is important why you are writing a report that should be there because when you are organizing any kind of when you want to write it out uh, the report first you need to see about it what is your purpose why you are writing this thing next it is what who is the audience that is important because when you are writing a report so you need to see about who is the audience are the audience uh, uh, re, uh, is the audience been being connected as, as if i write certain thing so i'll make that kind of language where audience can be at least have that kind of connection relating to book what uh, what are your audience interested that is also important uh, the audience what are they interested because there are certain audience doesn't like uh, if it has been written 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 if uh, the thing is if it is a writing material the audience are not connected that much but with the help of parallelly the audience where uh, are connected with the help of written also and even you put certain logo certain examples to it which makes an audience more effectively to understand whatever the research you have been done so that makes your report properly so what are your audience interested values and concern that is important what are their concern what are their values what do they think about it as if they are connected to that part of particular uh, related with that part of information so does it is been connected or not so that all questions you need to keep in mind because with the help of this kind of question finally the thing is what you can according to this you can organize the market uh, you can prepare the return uh, you can um, you can organize according to this with the market research report when the return format so first you need to have that kind of consideration relating to the questions now here i have given a certain kind of tables i mean how when you prepare a report so like what are the contents you have been put or how you keep that kind of content which will be a step by step what we have learned just learned before this two slides so into this i have given certain way where i uh, got a book and book that first page i have took about it and put the snapshot here so at least what you will be getting out 
whenever uh, you are doing what are the elements when you prepare a certain kind of market research report so what are the elements means what are the contents you are been adding relating to this which makes your research easier so first it is what front page uh, front sorry front matter you have a book body and second it is what the end matter it is been cover up with the help of three things this is what the front matter front matter in the sense the starting four five pages which will be just giving the elaboration relating to the result uh, research related body it is what i once you complete out with the help of the introduction relating to this particular because into the front page it will be only just an introduction part but into once you coming into once your introduction completed to four to five page after finally you come into the body body in the sense it is what what is the topic when you are just giving the introduction so what are the topics you are taking so the topic related what you when what from where did you got information how you do the research uh, then what are the methods what are the techniques you use when you when you got that kind of research so that all comes into your body and after completing this thing what are the finally you are giving certain kind of recommendation relating to this any kind of conclusion you want to give to any kind of research that finally yes i got this part of research finally i have took with the help of certain graphs help and finally from this graph finally the thing is what i can conclude uh, this 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 is information are been there which would be relevant for my research part once you have complete that thing my end matters will be what my appendix and end notes that is important appendix in the sense you need to give certain questionnaires which you want a feedback from other people at least after seeing that by this type of report so finally if after seeing this part of report if i'm throwing certain question in the front of the audience so finally what are types of informations i'll be getting out so that part it is called my appendix and finally i need to end up certain notes relating to this which makes my report more effectively and connected and effective where the thing is the people can have more connection relating to that part of research now i'll go more ahead with the next slide now see whatever we have been just learned right now so that part of it information related a uh, certain uh, points have been spread here the in the front matter means first only where we have been seen na this three points where we have been seen here you have been seen front matter body and end so that part of it information related uh, you have a certain uh, points relating to this which makes more easier way where you can at least just give the information relating to this Uh, the front matter considered of all the pages that is preside the first page of the report so that's what i said to you a front page matter a front page matters will give the all page presiding the first page of a report means it will be discussing from the first page till the end of it the each and every information related into the short one the title page contain the title of the document the organization person from whom the report was been prepared the organization people person who the prep, uh, who prepared the report and the date of the submission that is also important uh, to whom the title of the page means once you get a title finally you got such information finally the thing is it has been certified it. and this was a person from this person reference finally the thing is he got an information so his stamp and signature some might be there so you need to put according to that which makes an effective way where the other people whenever he because what whenever you are getting a research report so finally the people will say who prepared the report the people is not aware so that is why the thing is your information is incomplete but here the thing is what you give the grades to the person so that is why the thing is what we make the title page also where the thing is that person signature it has been there and even their name is there the letter of the authority is is a marketing research form certificates to do the project and it's option and it is an op op optional now here it is what a uh, certain even once you uh, when you prepare a report also we have some certification also certification in the sense from the organization it has been uh, given certain kind of certificates where the say because what you have done the research you have put your that much kind of effects relating to this but it's an op optional relating to this if the people want they can put it but but the thing is if you put this type of it finally it makes more impressible uh, relating to whatever the reports you are preparing because here the thing is if, if you are having Uh, so those content and those information related which makes your research more effective more easiest way to connect with the help of people so that is why we prepare this kind of raw market research project
Now, I have one more uh, that is what the letter of transmits. Now, letter of transmit is used to release or deliver the documents to organization for which you are not a regular employee. Now, here it is what certain letters have been given where the thing is the information has been passed and from where you have been collected. So, that part of information is related. Uh, certain letters have been given which have been stamped and signed relating to. So, that also note it has been given to the people. Next, the memo of transmit is used to deliver the documents within your own organization. If you have prepared any kind of memo relating to whatever the information you have been passed, so that part of information related, any kind of certificate, uh, certificates or any kind of organization related, any kind of data which you got it, so that part of information or that part of certificates related letter, you need to attach it related whenever you are preparing any kind of reports. Now you see, organizing the organizing the written report. Now I have more. The table of the content helps the readers locate the information in the research report. As if I already said, a table of content in the sense it is what an index. Because when you prepare an index, it will be of three lines. One will be your numbering, that will be your chapter number. The internal will be your index, means where, what are the content, what are the chapters you have been there. And at the end of it, you have a page number. And with the help of the page number, finally, uh, when you are preparing when you are giving the reports in the front of the paper, when you are spreading this type of report, finally the thing is what? Uh, each and every information uh, at this page, at this topic, it is on this page. This page, this topic, it is on this page. So this makes a, a, a research reports more clear and more informatic also. The list of illustration helps the located table or a figures within the report. Now into this, whenever, uh, when you are preparing a report, so into this, certain examples also if you have given so that part of examples related also you can put it the into the table contents you can even give the that part of information related to the table content which makes easiest way where the people can get the information properly tables are words or numbers that are arranged in rows and columns as if i already said you have rows and you have kept a column and according to this the thing is what you are putting a numbers and wordings relating to this figures are graph uh, graph chart map pictures and so on so here the thing is certain figures also you are giving about it whenever uh, you are giving preparing any kind of report so on that time when you are preparing a table also so if you have discussed relating into the market research if you have discussed related to any kind of graphs map charts pictures if you have given to this which makes more attractive and more uh, informatic where you can get all sort of information so that also you are keeping into it and finally the thing is into the table content you are even attaching that thing which makes your information clear also Now, here I have given certain kind of uh, uh, where reports have been prepared. So, now see how the reports have been prepared. So, here the thing is what, how you prepare, how you prepare the front page, the title of the page. Now, here is the hobby, the hobby is choice, the market researching study to determine the intention of patronized preference for the operating design characters, locations and media habits. Now this is the topic. On the very first page when you are preparing any kind of uh, report, when you are writing any kind of report, on the first page you need to prepare this way. And with the help of this, the thing is what you get a clear cut information. Now, when you open this type of book only in the first time, so at least what you will be getting a title of the topic. That is the title of the topic. It is what the market research study to determine the intention of patronistic preferences for the operating oblique design, characteristic location and media habits. So you, this is a topic. And according to this topic, now say prepare for to whom you have prepared and prepared by. So this it has been there. If you for whom you have prepared means this report to whom you want to submit. So this has been given and even the thing is what who has been prepared that kind of report. So this is the thing and here the thing is whatever the month or whatever the year it has been that you need to do it here. So this is one type of snapshot what I have been attached it which makes your reports clear. Now here you see when uh, you are preparing a report. Okay now see. 
who was preparing the report said their name or their certain kind of address if it has been there finally the thing is to whom you are giving out mr jeff dean 2010 main street anyton us whatever the number it is been there and then afterwards the thing is into this this is first a certificate one where the thing is what you are discussing whatever the uh, into the title pages whatever the information you have been carried so that type of information related you need to give as uh, as now see i'll just read it out that uh, that information so at least with the help of your information at least you will be getting out the what are the uh, what the content they usually write into this as you requested to your letter to authorize dated february means uh, before they want to get those information so that is why they want certain kind of information so that is why the thing is what they have been given previously the one letter relating to this and from this letter finally the thing is what uh, i have completed the market research analyzing for the hobbyist choice the results are contained the report entitled the hobbyist choice the market research study to determine the intentions to patronize the preferences for operating design character locations and And media habits now what was the topic so that topic related you need to write the report is based on interviewing of 400 households in any town now here the thing is what they want to know about the topic was they are doing the research relating to the how they have more intentions to the patronism and preferring of operation designing more and more relating to the uh, what are the habits relating to how the people are staying and how they wants to know about all sort of information so into this the person has done the research of 400 households uh, the person who stays in us and finally with the help of this he has been collected those data so that is why uh, he is sharing those information that this was information a complete methodology is, is described in the report now he has been also discussed that uh, where uh, through graph through a certain kind of pie diagram certain kind of histogram pictures uh, this are the certain where i have done certain i have collected the report standard marketing research practices was used uh, through the research report certain kind of practice search or standard way means a certain kind of specialized technique guys who i have been appointed and from this i got an information uh, and through this i have prepared a project also you will find the result of a report provide the information necessary to achieve the research objectives we set out for the project now here the thing is what even he has been discussed about it uh, whatever the content you was required so according to that part of content finally the thing is what my research it has been complete this means your goal your purpose will be fulfilled field when you will be seeing this type of my research report uh, the this result represent the voice of your future consumer and we trust you will be able to use this result to make the best decision for the hobbyist choice now here it is what here if they want to know they want to understand about the um, the consumer wants and needs future wants and needs so that is why they have been done this type of research so after the A researcher who done this type of research, so from this at least what he will be getting a future way of consumer wants and needs, and from this type of prepare and this with the help of this uh, going into the depth with the help of the report, he will be getting a proper way of connections to the marketers and even with the help of consumer. Uh, should you need further assisting, please do uh, do not hesitate to call me on this is number. I enjoyed working with you on this project and I look after. So, uh, look forward to working with you again in the future. Now, here it is what even he has been thanked also that thank you for giving an opportunity. And finally, if you need a certain kind of help, finally you can get in touch with this. And finally, the thing is what uh, it even thanks said that if I have, if you have any future kind of this kind of projects, you can even call us because we'll be into that kind of it where even it will be more interesting at least to get all those information. Now, we can see. this is a letter a uh, starting drafting letter what we have been said about it this is the first drafting letter which with the help of this type of letter now into this small letter he has been cover up his ideas his views his thoughts each and everything and even he has discussed about it my topic also and from this topic finally the thing is he got information even he has been discussed about it from what type of sources i got the data and second the thing is so the thing is what are the different type of techniques i have been using means into the short letter finally he sincerely thanks to it for this type of information so now you can see with the help of this type of letter finally the thing is what he will be preparing a report now at the first uh, whatever the information uh, he have been discussed 
Uh, that was the first letter. Now after the letter, finally the thing is the content. Content in the sense I have already said to you, uh, it will be your index. Now how it will be there? This is the topic, and topic related you can see the page here. I have been just given here one two one two 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 three four five five uh, six 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 seven nine. At that way, the thing is that it has been prepared. Now here you can see each and every one. You can get a certain kind of different type of opinion relating to this topics relating to it, and even the thing is what the report it has been cover up according to this way. Now the selection the title. Now first it is what list of list uh, list of illustration. He has given certain examples relating to uh, what other report whatever the research he has been done. So certain kind of example he has been done which has been matched to this. Summarizing executive summary means uh, just giving out the summarization of whatever the content you have got it. Then now the thing is what you are starting with the chapter that is first the introduction you are just giving the introduction relating to uh, what are the companies related what is this what is that just giving an introduction part you are preparing a background also from where did you collect those data that means what are the history you as if you are going out from where did you got information research objectives what are my main thing why i am doing this part of it and why i am collecting those information so that is called my research objective what are the my my main perspectives to why i am where why i took this topic and why i have, I have a more interest relating to this so that is called my research objectives limitation of a study what are the problems i am in facing during when i am doing a that kind of study that also you need to do methods if you are using certain kind of methods relating to it so which makes my which makes your research more effectivity definition of populations if you have uh, i mean your my topic was that relating to hobbyist hobbyist way to get the hobbies of to know about the people so your definition of populations where i'll be getting information samples for plan certain samples i have been collected for planning sample size development of questionnaires that is also important what are questionnaires i have been developing because as if i went to 400 house so what are the questions i have been framed next uh, development of questionnaires develop uh, data collected method uh, through which what kind of different sources are collected i have primary secondary qualitative quantitative way uh, where i have collected the data a non sampling error reduction if i have done and that kind of sample, non sampling related uh, where i can just uh, reduce certain kind of information which was not relevant to this so that also that information okay now here also you can see abstracts is executive summary the skeleton of your report skeleton in the sense it is what whatever the information you means whatever the report you have been prepared so that information related at least you are giving just a body main content relating to this then body body it is what the bulk of report bulk of report in the sense whatever the information you have been collected so that type of information related including introduction explanation of methods discussion of results statements of limitations and list of recommendation and conclusion so your body will be will be all of it like you can say bulk of report from where did you got those data including introduction you are putting what type of introduction relating to a certain explanation of methods if you have done any kind of methods related information if you have calculated so what type of explanation you can give it discussion of any kind of results if you have done any kind of research discuss relating to any kind of research statement of limitation what are the limitations if you are putting out relating to this statement so what are giving out list of recommendation and conclusion this is also one part of it where uh, what are the recommendations and what are the conclusion parts you have been given so like you can say at the a body which cover ups with the help of all the elements and with the help of an elements which makes your report more relevant to this we'll go into the more internal concepts now here it is what what do you mean by introduction introduction in the sense what are the uh, when you do uh, when you prepare a research report so what are the introduction cover up the statement of background situation leading to the problem so uh, your uh, what are the history uh, your background what are the backgrounds means what are the history what you cover up from where did you got an information what are the problems they are been facing and through this problem finally the thing is what are your suggestions you are giving out so first the suggestion is afterwards but before this the thing is what are the problems i have been facing so that comes into your introduction part the statements of problems the summarizing descriptions of how the research process was initiated and from this type of problem because what uh, like 
seeing the backgrounds seeing the importance and seeing the, like you see no your you require the changes so after getting out those problem finally the thing is what you are developing certain kind of suggestion relating to this and from this type of only point the thing is you are getting more initiating relating to getting out the topic into depth and depth into this and finally you are getting out that kind of point of view so that is why you do that part of research now yeah uh, it should it should contain a statement of general purpose of selection and also specific objectives of a research that is also important your your general purpose also for the research like why did you topic uh, took a topic so which uh, simple way and second part specific objectives for the research what are the specific objectives you have been took relating to when you are getting certain kind of research related uh, when what are the main motive relating what are the main objectives relating where which makes your research to an fair way research objectives may be listed here or in a separate selection now what are we in research related whatever the objectives you are getting out so for whatever from where did you are getting so list out certain kind of points which makes your informations more easier than second part you can get those data which will be more easier for you to uh, present the front of the people also so that is why these are the different type of introduction way whatever the content we have been learned that this all comes into the, your introduction part and from this introduction part at least what your reports will be clear more and more your introduction because from this introduction only the thing is from this part only the finally the thing is you, the problems the answers the solutions you will be getting out so which makes more relevant uh, to get those topics into this and to understand the people views and perceptions relating to what are the people have been facing right now which makes your more easier and more depth relating to it information which from this your research will be having the clear cut objectives relating to from which you can prepare a report also okay we'll go ahead with the next point now i have more organizing of return uh, organizing the return report now our uh, more content that is what are the methods methodological and uh, second part what are the tools relating to this now what are the methods described methods described is detail how the research was conducted who or what the subjects were and what methods were used to achieve the objectives now methods is it is what what are the things from where who what and from this type or finally you get certain kind of methods of developing certain kind of points methodological refers to the science of determine appropriate methods to conduct a research now here it is methodological way you are where you are getting certain information through uh, science through different type of technology to certain part of research related which makes your research more initiated more conduct related to this and more different types of techniques what you can use relating to this methods refers to the tools used in the scientific investigation use methods not methodological your each and every terms will be related with your method not related with your methodological it is not like that just with the help of whatever uh, related with your referencing to the science and finally whatever the methods are there from that methods only you are using here you need to have certain kind of method like way where the thing is what you can get those information through a uh, face to face conversation through face to face panels related which makes your uh, uh, which makes your detail more initiative and you will be getting out the main objectives relating to this because your your objectives will be getting clear so that is why we take this type of step that is called a method related that is why the thing is from this at least what you get a proper way of information which will be more relevant for the people at least to understand the content i have a result result it is what result presenting the finding of a research means whatever the information whatever you have been collected so finally the thing is what uh, whatever the recommendation you have been given finding uh, recommendation finding or finding of a research it is what a recommendation whatever the research you have been done whatever the information you got about it so finally the thing is what are your recommendation then afterwards limitations may focus but not limit 
to the time bernie uh, personal and cyber population this is also you need to look after relating to this uh, so because of it limitation may be focused relating to whenever you are putting a limitations reader you have a more focus but not limited to the time money persons and size of population this should be not there but limitations is what what are the problems you face during when you do a particular type types of research so with the help of this at least what you need to throw certain blinds relating to this into whenever you preparing any kind of project report now here it is what a conclusion conclusions are the outcomes of the decision you have reached based on your research result now finally at the end of it once you calculate once you got those data once you analyze the data through the methods the way and finally the thing is what what are your conclusion conclusion it is what are the outcomes and decisions you have reached based on your research work what are your outcomes now what are you thinking about it finally you got got all those information recommendations if you want to give any kind of suggestions relating to this how to proceed based on the conclusion your recommendation will be on the based of your conclusion if you see your conclusion and according to the conclusion finally you can give your suggestion related to this finally once you have suggested finally the thing is the end matters contain the information that is a reader may needs to refer to for what for the regard reading but uh, but that is not essential for reporting of the data but into this end matter this is not information this is this if you do that then put that kind of information it's also okay but the thing is at the end of the matter finally just give that kind of references also from where did you got that type of data and at the end of it if you want you can give that kind of information relating to this which makes your reports more easier and more effective where the people can have understood relating to that part of communication now you when we have learned about the different different types of reports whenever you are writing related to it and even we have been seen certain illustrations and with the help of illustration finally you got to know uh, what are the main body what are the main content what are the main information which makes your research more effective more way of uh, attracting to the people relating to a more presentable in the front of the audience also i have one more that is called the paragraphic now palagramics this is also been there uh, it refers to presenting the work of other as your own and in the is a serious of offense if you are in the doubt the, uh, if you are into the doubt document now palagramics means in the sense uh, whenever you are doing a research if you are doing a fresh research relating to this so kindly uh, get present that type of data which others are not been prepared because whenever you are preparing a research report if it is same to same or uh, that is called a prior palagramic so it is an offensible because the thing is the same to same data you can't put it in the front of the audience because that will be treated as an equal so here the thing is what if the same equal data are been prepared by the other one so that is why you can take with the help of if you want to prepare any kind of report you can take the help of it but the thing is what your topic should be different your content should be different your internal interest your recommendation your suggestion should be different if this same type of it if you are pre presenting the other work okay and this showing out that is called a my work so that will be treated as a serious offense it is been not at all treated so that palagramic should be there should not be there uh, whenever the thing is what other report you are coming and you are presenting it if you are in the doubt documents if your documents it has been doubt means your so that is why if uh, if the thing is what it's a simple sources if you are taking that kind of information it's okay but here the thing is what other information others others research the information you are coming and represent in front of the people and you are saying about it, it's my you are putting your name each and every so it has been conducted as a severe offense related so whenever the thing is what you do the research it should be true and fair way and uh, because on the previously only we have been seen about it whenever you are doing a research it should be true and fair way where the information you are showing it should be honest and sober so which makes your uh, research more effective and more attractable for the audience also to get the information which has been easier so that is why the thing is what this palagramic should be uh, should be avoided whenever you are doing any part of research
now you are following guidelines and principles for writing the report now you are uh, whenever you are writing any kind of report certain guidelines are been there uh, first is what heading that is what indicates the topic of each section that is important uh, whatever the information if you want to give the introduction if you want to give illustration research uh, objectives uh, planning any kind of bar graph diagrams if you want to share so finally just give that part of heading because heading cover up each and every content subheading that is also important should divide that information into segments if you are telling about it if you want to discuss about introduction so into the introduction you want to give objectives so you need to have a sub points related i hope you have might been seen into the certain textbook or certain kind of books also uh, that if they want to give the introduction then afterwards they used to write 1.1 is equals to uh, 1.1 Uh, objectives 1.2 related to this means a uh, chapter one is related. You are giving a subheading into it, which makes your research more easy and compatible. Also, visualizing that is also important. Like give certain table, figures, chart, diagram, graphs, and other graphical aids. Aids also, which makes more visible, attractive, uh, attractive your research report. So that makes more attractive relating to this. <coughs> now here it is what uh, to uh, the uh, tips to make you a better writer used a subheading now you see here when i will discuss about a third subheading so see the title first level heading second level heading third level fourth level fifth level heading part of the sentences now at the each and every so give best it is a tips it is what whenever you want to discuss don't club each and everything together and finally give one type of report give that type of bifurcation where the people will be more attractive so at least what if the topics are been cleared properly so finally the people will be getting all proper information but if the topics are not clear finally the thing is the people won't be getting that part of information so your information it is not effective so that is what to make effective give the subheadings to each and every topics means at each and every topic if you are giving uh, method research 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 methodology related means where you got your information so give a bar so like uh, topics related research methodology into this first you write it out research methodology introduction next the thing is what bar diagram bar diagram then after histogram give the all types of points so which makes your uh, research effectively and then finally give the page number also relating to this because if the people don't want to just go through the each and every uh, information related they just want to see about the research how from where did you collect the data so the bar diagram by diagram they will go particular page and finally just they will go particular type of page and finally they will be getting a report relating to this so finally with the help of this they will be getting an accurate information which will be getting an information finally Once you have completed with this, give the conclusion. This is page number. This related to this. So, which makes your these are the different uh, some tips you need to just uh, uh, have a uh, put an eye relating to it. Use subheading also because with the help of subheading, it makes more attractive the research report. <coughs> now certain styles are been there style it is not uh, what are the stylish devices can make the difference in the weather or not your reader get the message as an intended did now you give certain kind of styles mean certain kind of way of uh, way of designing way of writing a languages e use cursive use a uh, time roman way where you can just spread certain data and all uh, give certain now the see example a good paragraph has one main idea capitalizing uh, capitalized on the white page see now here it is what means if they, there is a certain content give them the bold underline it if there are certain content if you want to uh, put a light uh, when the people see about that book so give them that type of it certain kind of circular circle related to it certain graphs related which makes more attractive and give certain styles relating when you are writing those languages relating to it uh, give certain into the certain where you just color it out if you want to give certain kind of la, la, uh, certain sentences are being there so if you want to just uh, highlight that kind of so color it out that kind of which makes more attractive when you are doing this part of research so this are and currently uh, there are different devices also now you can see if you uh, if you see into the word also you'll be getting different type of times roman it is and writing it is cursive it and writing it is arial it has been there and then after bold italy bold italy mix it has been there so this makes more a more stylish way of representing a project it is like not only just write it out the draft but this makes more effective it is so you need to have a put a eye relating to this
Now, see, using visualizing, uh, visualizing tables and figures, what I have said to you, see, this type of uh, diagrams, what you need to figure it out and finally, give certain percentage related and give some colors relating to this, which makes more attractive and finally, give certain bifurcation relating to this, like uh, your purple color says this much percentage and which seems to this then afterwards a uh, blue color give this much percentage it seems to this a gray color give this much percentage it seems like that green color it gives this one percentage and finally it gives like that so here what it each and every particular level what it has been given certain kind of view so give that type of view which makes more attractive for the visualizer I have one more. Uh, now see, here I have a uh, pie. See the chart, pie diagram. Uh, circle divided into the section compared a uh, uh, specific part on the whole to the whole. Now we can see whole to the whole at each and every part. So like you can take a pie diagram relating to which has been cut relating to it. So finally, according to this, finally got uh, the information. So use this type of chart related, which makes more attractive for the visualer also to see it. I have one more that is called a bar chart. Okay, graphical shows concept uh, such as frequency distribution. Now, here if you want to check out the frequency distribution, so usually what we go with the help of this midpoint. So finally, with the help of this midpoint, finally you get the proper way of acquisition of a data. Even you can see a certain where you can see the reflection here, a black color one. Okay, that is also being said. So according to this, you can even calculate that black color instruction also. So now with the help of this, finally, you need to write a bar chart, the red color specify with this, a black color specify this, this, which makes more effective, more proper way where the people can be connected to this part of graphs also, graphical way where you can represent those data. So this is also one type of it where you can discuss with the help of group. Now, here I want to discuss relating to a certain concept that is called the SPSS, what I have been said to you previously. Now, usually uh, what happens whenever you prepare the certain data. Now, if you go to technical way when you want to represent, so here it is what we take a help of Word also, PowerPoint and Excel. We club that kind of it and finally with the help of this you are showing that kind of report in the front of the people. So that is why this is the different types of techniques where uh, SPSS data editors now means uh, this is a you can say it's one type of where uh, if you get so much of information so much of research related objectives whenever you are getting out. So now you want to uh, show that report means you want to show that information to the report. So this is one type of software and with the help of that part of software finally the thing is what uh, if you want to calculate the population if you want to get the information related to pi diagram and bar diagram so simply doing a calculation with the help of hand or calculator this is in software and from this software finally the thing is what you can store that type of data uh, which has been an excel file and that file you can even attach it to your presentation whenever you're presenting into the ppt or it uh, you can even add it in the word and from this information finally you can give it uh, you can edit those data you can uh, directly you can calculate those data because your uh, you not needs to uh, just put certain formulas relating to it because already this style of software is having all sort of information where just only you need to put now see as if I already said, you can see the figures and uh, use the graph bar to open the, now here the thing is whatever we have been seen here bar, so, so that bar now, it has been directly connected to this side of software and from this software finally the thing is what, uh, you need to select and finally with the help of this software finally the thing is what, from this bar you can see a simple clusters and scatters, so here you need to define a second step, it is what, uh, you need to whatever the information you want finally you want, you can just collect the information, once you get it an information, so this what what it is, you just only need to click. This is a software, and this is a software which is rarely used. Uh, which is not, I guess, not say rarely. It is mostly used nowadays whenever you are uh, the people who do the research because this makes the information easiest way and and fast way where you get those data easily. So this is also one type of point with which you can use it in for whenever you are doing a research. So you can take a help of this type of SPSS software data also. Okay. Now, again more uh, the chart related, see how, whatever the chart, what we have took. So, uh, see what we have drawn the chart also. So, that type of chart. Now, here you can say, uh, see two colors what have been said. So, now here, it is pre here you can say a percentage. Here, how likely you would uh, patronize this, uh, this restaurant. And then afterwards, very like unlikely. 
somewhat unlikely, neither likely, and some likely. And this, with the help of this finance, this is the so into the SPSS software. Whatever the informations have been there, you have been kept here. And finally, the thing is what you have a properties, and according to this, finally you need to select that kind of it. And only just with the colors only, you just put that type of colors relating to. If it is in flat, means if it is if it is only one part of it. If there is only red color, so then you need to put a flat. If there is any kind of shadow related, you need to put a shadow. and if it is a 3d type if you have one more one more your uh, graph so finally we need to select the 3d and according to this if you finally do and if you do the apply finally you get the percentage so it became your research becomes easier nowadays this all type of softwares are been there to get information easier and easier so and which you can even put uh, this part of information to your research reports now i have ethical uh, where you can use ethical visualization producing an accurate and ethical visualization one that is ob totally objectives in the term of how information is to be present in the research report how you will present the re research report so like give this type of diagram you can see okay with the help of two diagram finally see livelihood to patronistic hobbyistic uh, hobby choice dress student and here it is what livelihood of patronistic hobby choice dress student you have a two but here the thing is here it is what some two colors are there and according to this color finally the thing is what and according to the person this finally you can present this part of report so this is an ethical way where you can represent that part of it so which you can see about it somewhere it is in high somewhere it is been low somewhere it has been this side it has been red color you can see it out and according to this you can present that part of report which makes more easier and more convenient the to understand the people now see ethical views now here you can see it about it an ethical view is the one that is totally objective in the term of how information presented in the report that is why we use this type of technique double and triple check all the label numbering and visualize shape you can say some there was a double some there was a triple and with the help of that kind of shade it will make which will make more visualizations to get those data exercising questions if you use three dimension figures uh, according to three this three dimension figures you will be getting a proper and accurate information make sure all part of scales are been presented when you are uh, discussing information so finally all sort of informations are been discussed relating to this so that should be more attractive relating to whatever the informations are been there now i have uh, when you want to present the your research orally now this is also one type a purpose of an oral presentation is a it's a community uh, present the research information and to provide an opportunity for the questions and decision now as if we have been currently we have whatever the discuss we have been discuss about the written format now presentation format we have been discuss about it but here it is what when you want to represent an oral way uh, market research related so here it is what here it is what you need to under, know about you should get those information and according to this you can frame a questions relating to this and you need to give an opportunity for the people you have to give certain kind of questions related answer and from this finally the thing is what you can discuss with a certain kind of concept so that is why we move with the help of oral content i have more uh, certain points now uh, to prepare following three this steps first it is what uh, when you want to do the oral research now first we have been learn about the written report whenever you prepare so how you do the presentation next presentation if you are doing so how you present that part of it now we are uh, i have one more research when you do orally how you do to prepare a, uh, to be prepared follows this step identify analyze the audience that is important you need to have connection relating to audience and you need to identify which way the thing is the audience will be getting the information easiest way find out the expectation your audience has for your presentation that is important uh, you need to see the expectation what audience wants from myself because that makes because if your expectations are been clear then you can represent yourself proper determine the key point your audience needs to hear that is also important your how the audience needs to hear so that main highlight point only you just get in touch with that point outline the key point so you can easily refer to them just outline those point which you can directly connected with the people and which the people can give frame certain kind of questions related to it present your point clearly and scintillantly 
okay uh, give that kind of points which will be clearly uh, you can represent the front of people and even it will be more connected to it to give the information easiest way okay give all sort of information now make sure you're visualizing a uh, visualized graphical ethical portrait your key point that is important whenever you are representing so the people is asking to you from where did you got the data so at least you will be having certain visualizing some figures charts or certain graphs so at least what with the help of that kind of connection you can represent it practice your presentation that is important before moving in the presentation orally you need to practice with the help of the like whatever questions the people can give to you or what kind of type of answer you can give it how you will present the projects relating to this check out the rooms and media equipments prior to the presentation that is also important whenever you are going an oral presentation you need to see what are the uh, uh, this your ac is working or not your pc is working or not your pen drive is working or not that all things Uh, arrive early that is important be positive and confident that is important when you are representing that thing practice good presentation skills that is volume education eye contact good good posture professionalism dress this makes your presentation more effectively so because you are when you are doing a research presentation your report and you are you are representing the front of the people front of the audience so you need to understand the audience also and second part you should be very honest when you are uh, spreading certain questions or giving out certain views relating to that kind of point because if your posture if your dress if your eye contact if your way of behaving it if this all thing it will be clear which makes your uh, Pre research orally uh, research presentation project orally where you are representing in the front of the people which makes more effectivity to the people also to understand to you i have one more that is the background of uh, market research what i have to mean discuss to you previously uh, we will be seeing with the one more chapter that is called the background of the market research now whatever we have been learned previously that was how you present through orally through return and through report and as if you get a data so that we have been learned about it previously now you will be learning about the background of market research now background of market research means here how the thing is what market researcher okay market researcher do market research and how what are they what what they put more eye relating to the certain kind of concept and they how they collect those data from uh, going through the people getting those information relating to this so how they used to do so this will be going internal to the depth relating with the point now i have uh, the some points where the market researchers are doing out first it is what uh, determine what you needs to know about your market the first important it is what a market researcher when he goes when he go out to get the certain kind of research related with the market so first he will be checking about it he needs to have the determination what you needs to know about your market that is important what why you are going outside to the market so what are the information you require that is the more focused the research the more valuable it will be next prioritize the result on the of the first step you can't research everything so constantly on the information that you will give up your best a quicker or a payback it is not like that on the one day you will be get all sort of information but which wherever you are going information at least that makes a relevant means from there at least what you will be getting a relevant related information review less expensive uh, research alternative small business development centers small business administrations can help you uh, develop the customer survey your trade association will be good secondary research be creative so here it is what it is not like that that uh, uh, where expenses are getting less there only i'll do the research it is not like that here it is what you take the help of secondary uh, or as if there are the small development uh, business developers if it is been there so means first just going through the primary data first collect the information through secondary sources next estimating the cost of performance uh, performing the research yourself you should know about it when you whenever you go for the research so that is why you need to understand what will be the cost uh, when you will go into the market when you will uh, do certain part of research so what will be the cost what will be the expenses relating to this 
Keep in the mind that with the internet, you should not have to spend a ton of money. That is important because research it is what just only through secondary data you can get information, but only into the ones only. But it is not listening for the whole time and finally getting the information from the internet. That is not part of research. If you are considering hiring a consultant or a researcher, remember this you your dream. Uh, this are your goals and this is your business. Whenever, uh, if you are thinking about it, uh, giving a certain inf uh, give, uh, getting certain information through hiring certain agency, one certain agent guy. So it doesn't mean like that that you will be getting all the information from this. So finally, it is what you get. You if you are hiring, it's okay. But the thing is, what whenever uh, you are doing a research, it is like you need to see about it. It's my work. It's. I am doing for ourselves. It is like for our business. I am doing. So you need to have a total focus on whenever you are doing a research. Then only the thing is the market research will be a proper. Then only you will be getting the information proper. Now, what is market research? Okay, it's an important component of modern business strategy. Now, your before you are doing a, a market research, you should know about it. What is exactly meaning of market research? It is a one type of business statement, a modern type of business statement uh, strategy. Sorry, the process of systematic gathering, recording, analyzing of data about customer, competitors, and market. So here it is what it's a one type of strategies, a modern type of strategy, and from this process you collect, you gather all the information. Through uh, customers, through certain uh, customers, certain competitors, uh, then afterwards, finally, from the market. A market research can helps to create a business plan, launch a new product, fine tune uh, existing ones, and expand into the new business market. That is what I said to you. Why we do the research? This market researcher should know about it. Why we are doing this part of research? If you want to uh, extend your product. Or else, why the product is of your product is not running? Also, what are the uh, limitations what you are facing right now? So that is why I am doing that part of research. So this thing you should understand before you are doing a research because this makes your research compatible and able to understand each and every concepts. I have run students of marketing. Marketing now, when uh, who do the market research? Usually, the students of marketing. The marketing should know about the marketing students should know. For those who are studying marketing under any university program, the best way to learn the objective first it is what uh, a marketers. If the marketing guy uh, who is the, who is doing a study of his particular subject that is who is doing a study related with the subject because for the marketing students this market research makes an important concepts to them because all analytic and mathematical way how they are doing a calculation. So that is why first it is what they need to learn the objective. The real marketing for the particular environment will be learned by moving on the field and carrying out the study to the understand a specific market section. Here, to get information, the marketing, the marketing guy, the marketing students, or a marketing researcher should go a field work, and from the field work, finally, the thing is what he is getting information. So that is why, whenever a person, whenever a student who is a marketing student, uh, if he is interested into the marketing, so first the thing is what when he what type of job Job he get usually he get that type of job that is what starting four to five years that is the field work and from the field work he gets so much as information that what are the wants what are the needs of the consumer competitors how the products are running out because we are you get all sort of information so here it is what you need to study the marketing done by talking with the consumer manufacturing that is also important consumer manufacturing intermediaries to know about the marketing strategies and problem face this is also an important concept to be studied by the marketing because in because this only which makes more and more initiative uh, relating to going into the new product into the market now make or a buy decision of a market researcher what are the things make or a buying analyzing is conduct by the strategy and operational level now make a buy and sell okay make or a buy decision whenever you want to start up with any kind of product or else you uh, you want the people to buy uh, to want to buy certain kind of products so certain strategy and certain operational units means certain techniques you need to use whenever the thing is what you are doing any kind of research obviously the strategy level is more longer range of the two variables considering at the strategy level including analyzing the future and the current environment that is also important whenever strategy if you want to develop with the help of new 
certain ideas so you need to go with the help of present and future and according to this way finally the thing is what you will be getting an in info information issues like government regulation because what are the marketing research of face this type of way whenever they are doing uh, whenever they want to buy any kind of product or they want to sell any kind of products related so what are the problems they face usually government regulation certain competitors from market trends all have the strategy impact on make or a buying decision of course firm firm should make an item that reinforced or are in line uh, with their core competencies this are the area in which the firm is strongest and which gives the firm competitive environment that is why this type of make and buying decision way of process it has been used into the market research where the thing is the people will be getting more attachment relating to it uh, competitors certain consumer related which they'll be getting an information so that is why a researcher market researcher should go out for this type of information for where he'll be getting a uh, contact with the consumer uh, second competitors also certain retailers also which makes and one inline way of process related of attachment now sponsoring organization now uh, like certain things to be avoided when the certain organization is facing or first it is a no, not knowing what you are looking for so here it is what you should avoid this thing uh, like not knowing what you are looking for if you whatever the information you want just look into that don't go with what information you don't require but still you are having into it putting an eye into this poor choice of referring material so kindly uh, just leave that type right of point that is also important like you should not uh, get the, the whenever you are doing a research if the poor quality it has been there poor way of choice it has been there to get those research so kindly avoid that thing researching the work uh, wrong group that is also important uh, whenever you are getting those information whenever you are doing any kind of research related so don't discuss, uh, don't discuss the information to the wrong group because they can give you the wrong views relating to this which makes an uh, less or make up certain kind of points relating to it that part of information now relying on one set of data whatever your information you are getting out so kindly have that kind of put and put in an i relating to it because on what whatever the data you are getting so put an i relating to that part of it good marketing research has both primary and secondary data from the multiple choice to provide their true but unbiased opinion this is an important there if there are certain marketing researchers so usually they have two types of information from where they get the those data Uh, your families and friends can be uh, your focus group. That is also important. Your family and friend. You should not have only just two only people. There are certain other people also. You have a customers. You have a competitors. You have certain kind of people. Ah, uh, certain different type of location related people. So you should get those information from there also. It is not like that. You should also ah uh, can't focus this type of only people from this only you are getting information. So yeah, like research. It is what where you do from number of the people ah uh, where you. get those information which will be more relevant for this so this is also one type of techniques understand your own bias that is also important or uh, if you need to understand if you are giving a rationalization of data uh, give proper positive way of information so if you are just you are biasing out with the help of certain kind of our people and finally you are not able to understand certain content so ultimately that makes a negative way of impression so that is why you need to see about it use certain uh, tricks where you will be getting information easiest way and you can spread all those information easiest and which you can have a clear cut related to that part of particular view which makes your research more effective and efficient effectivity and now setting up of market research cells now nowadays uh, there are so much of market research cells are been developed market research cells in the sense uh, there are certain agency certain consultant who started developing this type of research as a small business owner you probably you probably read about market research you know that understanding your in industry that is social cultural economical framework that is important whenever you do the market research this is also the most important you need to understand about social economical and Cultural way, uh, and you are uh, aware that you need to know uh, about your customer, the area which you are selling, and what the competitors are doing. This is an important first. First, it is what whenever 
market research related any kind of information if you want to get it so that is why this all the important things you need to see you need to get into move into certain part of view which where you need to understand the customer second you need to understand the competitors also which makes your research more effective more proper way and from which type of different type of sales you can have the connected relating to this so that is why this part of marketing research is an important content relating to this now here uh, i have certain part of it where uh, you can get a connected with the business and to the customer market research center business on the customer now simply put market research is a process of analyzing the data about the market product and research this is a thing the market research it is what here you get information related to the market product and pro service and the most obvious benefit is it uh, availability to help your uh, understanding your customer that is also important who are they uh, what are they what do they expect through uh, effect efficient research businesses are able to uh, establish an open ended line of communication with their customer open uh, once you are understanding your customer needs you will be able to tailor your business to meet them so here it is what you need to when you do the research so doing when you are doing a research so the researcher should understand who are the consumer what are the competitors and according to this what are the products related what are service related they are facing out any kind of problem do the communication related so this is the first how to start collection the uh, customer feedback through uh, how you need to understand about it from where how the customers are there and from customers how you'll be getting a feedback creates a master customer list that is important you need to create a certain customer list be sure that this list includes the customer first name last name email Uh, including the what products and services you can easily upload this questions uh, list of question pros and then use the data for segments your response that is also important uh, get those information there's those uh, get those product related and service related uh, what are the customers are there the customer name middle name last name then afterwards what are the question was given to that so that questions related what type of answer they have been given and then afterwards that only questions get dated out the researcher should go to the particular way of location certain particular type of segments related uh, through which you can give uh, through which you can ask more customer also to give that kind of feedback which will be more relevant and which you will be getting more impact related to get those information so this is also one type of process where you can do it uh it enables you to test the success uh, and it helps judging whether a new product or service will connected with your customer even you need to see about it if new product uh, this related if you are just spreading out so does it will be connected or not research is the most effective way to test your ideas before you decide to go full throat with this through metrics small business owners are able to see this concept campaigning and messaging are uh, representing best and target customer uh, it saves the money and ensures the success so that is why this research makes the uh, it saves the money because from here only you get so much of information related to competitors second with the help of your customer which makes your uh, survey and which makes your report to an fair way got new ideas here how to test your concept that is also important whatever is the concept related testing you do through library uh, don't spend much money on survey until you do, doesn't do the secondary uh, until uh, until you will uh, done some secondary research yes that means tolerating the webs of the existing studies and research just get out through books uh, it is not like that just those information you will be only getting through libraries like uh, going out through the books but even the thing is what uh, go out uh, through websites also to get those information which will be more relevant for it to get those information that is the secondary sources which will be more important uh, to get a better success and better prospects of getting information into the depth so that is also this is also different type of it where a market research so you should understand now here it is what you need to understand your competitors that is also important uh, because before moving into that part of different type of points so here it is what you need to understand the competitors who are the competitors and you should get all in, all information related like uh, checking out the basic outline of a competitor if uh, in the articles you have outline of 10 competitors researcher this basic researches are the questionnaires relating to that part of researchers which you'll be getting the information easiest through connecting through the competitors
ensure your relevancy that is also important uh, like you need to see about it what are type of research you have been done so if you have done any kind of changes related to this so how you are connected with your consumer how you analyzing any data relating to which you from this type of data finally the thing is what what kind of uh, in changes you are doing or as if you got all the information so that thing also it is an important concept for the researchers to look after this thing uh other operations of mr cells it is what uh, you need to get those informations through collecting cuttings uh, from various business newspapers technical magazines that is also important because you get all those data relating to this carrying out the opinion poll once in the while to find out the opinion of the customer on the company product price service etc uh, like you need to have a opinion to the customer relating to certain kind of product if it has been inter introduced it price if it has been introduced a service it has been given so according to this finally uh, certain sales are been there so according to this finally you can have new types of different types of techniques related which will be more relevant uh, to get the business uh whether the researchers can this type of information which you can represent to it to analyze the trend in import and export for the company products and factors if any present uh, marketing operation into the world trade that also you can check it out if uh, through uh, different countries related if you have any kind of transactions or that type of also research what are the present and what are the future way where the import and exports are been taken place market feasibility uh, for the new product that this is also been done what are the forecasting way of new product related to this so what are the different type of measures you are getting according to this way this also been checked on when you are doing marketing related to this so this all point you need to study i have uh, some organization in india as of, as if i already discussed into the uh, just currently on the slide also where we'll be seeing about market research organization in india about 25 years uh, extensive the the niche market uh, research we are market researcher uh, india private limited streams are best to understand the dynamic and complex structure of market and to the globes and provide a customer solution which constructively progress and profitably growth of our client base now here it is what uh, like uh, there are certain organization who keep consultants and agency one where he placed uh, now they have been started like, like within 5 25 years uh, they have been started with the help of this type of uh, thing where they have paid place the market researcher and through which they give certain agents who which they give certain consultants uh, to get to the other company where he can come and he can spread certain kind of views he can get those data which will be more relevant for our business and even for the brand so currently they have been diversified the certain portfolios relating to it's like pharma realities uh, hospitalities retail automotive and even to the oils and the gas sector which they have been started with the help of doing this different type of agent and consultants are been there so with the help of this which makes more development to this i have a uh, domain expert has been enabled us to maintain the enhancing lo uh, long and rewarding association with our valuable clients such as godrej crystal aditya birla novartis etc just the name a few based on the mumbai we continue strive to deliver the quantifying and time bound solution by using effective quantitative qualitative research techniques to design and to conduct the survey on the technological innovation platform uh, their impacts on genius so like you can say you have a certain market researcher indian private limited okay a independent market research consultants in india specialize in market survey so like you can say in nowadays uh, this type of consultant service who are being started set up in so with the help of this your research becomes more easier where uh through each and every specialized skills specialized information related any kind of techniques will be there so according to this you will be getting an information and from this information which you can use into the uh, certain kind of business a true and fair way when you can start up with certain kind of new techniques and with the help of new types of techniques related uh, which makes your business uh more development and finally the thing is what through which the thing is what they start up with a survey now there are certain kind of new different types of techniques also who are being set up who, who are being started with the setuping up with the help of new ideas related so through this where you can see so much different types of techniques are being developed and uh, through which the thing is what uh, we get a research easier so like this we have completed with the help of chapters that is a background of market miss market researcher so you got a clear cut idea about it like what is the market what are the researchers relating to this 
so where we got information now today we have been just uh, we have a few minutes right now so at least what we can discuss about it whatever the concept we have been went through uh, today we went through with the help of two chapters first with the help of presentation reporting uh, and returns now that is uh, even we have learned about the oral and from this at least what you got a clear cut ideas uh, relating to how you prepare a market research project and how it becomes more effectively when you uh, give certain kind of graph certain kind of diagrams related to this which makes more easier more compatible for the people at least to understand relating to the uh, market research report and that is why nowadays the thing is what this type of market research report uh, it is in prominently it's an important concept uh, through which the research makes more effective and more effective to this where you can draw with the help of certain kind of business relating to this so that is why we have the certain kind of techniques where you preparing a report into this we have also learned about it how you uh, make a main body uh, content certain things then after a conclusion part each and every topics and from this type of topics which makes more easier and more uh, proper way where you can have in uh, gut get in touch with the help of proper way of information uh, first we prepare a uh, presentation then afterwards we collect the information then each and every we thing we do prepare a report even you present uh, like a present orally also to this we even write it each and everything you do it uh, which makes your report more effective it is then afterwards we went with the next chapter that is called the background of a market researcher we have even seen the background what are the background of the market researcher the person who is a market researcher so what type of techniques he use what type of different types of views he is giving uh, through this part of research uh, through which the thing is he do the survey he avoid certain things um, even he has more touch with it before doing this type of research he should analyze, he should know understand about what is market what are uh, what is the marketing what are the things you need to see who are the competitors who are the consumer because then only you can get those data you can analyze those data relating to this which will be more compatible for the people to know about each and every concepts Uh, then afterwards, what are the data? And even we have discussed about certain cells because nowadays this type of cells are being drew right now. Uh, because with the help of this type of cells, you have certain kind of institution, uh, certain kind of it way of uh, limited companies, certain private limited organization who who gives the researchers who. Uh, start it. Who give certain kind of uh, consultant service related to through which you can do the survey. The researchers they have been placed through which you can do the survey, and from this type of survey, finally you get all sort of information. And through this, we are pay, paying to that part of people also. So your researcher, it is like you can 